Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am taking a look at something called Siyuan notes. That sounded Norwegian, it is supposed to sound Chinese, but I got recommended this app uh, by a user on IG and it looks really cool and I love the fact that people ask me to check out apps. It really means a lot to me that people value my opinion but we are going to take a look at this app. So let's start with taking a look at its pricing as well as its um, features. There are a lot of features here. So it has an early bird pricing of $48 that's a lifetime uh, price and there are a, there is a subscription price 148 for lifetime I don't know how this actually works you can also pay to support the development but it is completely open source and offline all your files are stored uh, in your uh, on your uh, computer or your device so I have all of my stored in my documents folder. It has databases, API, artificial intelligence, space repetition, graph, uh, block level uh, linking. So you could link to a block. I will get back to that um, later in this video. We have split screen editing. So you could split your screen and see multiple things at the same time. It uh, allows self-hosting for those of you who want self-hosting. You can import Markdown and you can export them in several different ways. And there are a few members privilege on the uh, subscription lifetime plan. You could probably get away with a free plan. But um, you can get a cloud space size of 8 uh, gigabytes if you pay for this subscription. Anyways, we are going to jump back into the app. I have been playing a little bit around with it. It has a learning curve to it, just like something like Obsidian would have. There is a plug-in ecosystem inside of here as well, so I have tested out one of the plugins. The only problem is that a lot of the uh, plugins are in Chinese uh, and I can't read Chinese. I can barely read uh, English. But just to take a look at the app. So the uh, interface, the page layouts uh, look a lot like Notion would do. I will just close this down um, because uh, I am not going to use that right now, but as you can see, it looks a lot like Notion with a sidebar that looks a lot like Obsidian. So this is the sidebar here. You can jump through different things in your page. Uh, and we also have the graph view as well. Uh, so it has a global graph where you can see everything. Uh, it looks a lot and feels familiar uh, for anyone who have tried out any type, but this seems to have come further along in its development. You can open things like this. Uh, let's see if I can do it here. So you could have uh, things open at the same time. You could read here and look here. You can link different things together. So let's say I wanted to do a reference test for YouTube, for example, and I could also do a block reference. So I could embed a block um, and just a block of the page. So I could, for example, embed this into here and you can actually go in here and change things. So you can write from this page as well. You can write right from the embed, which is really cool. I am personally not too, I don't care too much about data security and privacy. I probably should pay more attention to that, but I am not. Uh, so therefore that part doesn't appeal a lot to me. The part that appeals a lot to me is just the interface and the fact that it is stored locally. So it is a lot faster than something like something like Notion would be. 
And I'm just shocked that I haven't been able to test out or find this app before. You can also just hover over your references or your links to see what is inside of there. And I can scroll as well and I can just close this. So that's also really cool. As I said, there is a plugins ecosystem. So this is a plugin I have added. You can have an inbox feature as well, which is something I like a lot uh, because you can just put things inside of here and you can drag them uh, in uh, later. I haven't been able to figure out how the databases work yet uh, but i am coming back as i said with a new uh, with a new video and a tutorial as soon as i have been able to figure out the app a lot more it has a learning curve to it but it feels quite intuitive uh, for anyone who has been uh, using note-taking apps it has a mind map feature as well which i haven't been able to figure out yet uh, but as i said i will just play around with it and come uh, with a new video it has uh, cards as well so you could do spaced repetition inside of here great for students so this is better for students than something like notion would be so it, it has that feature as well i think remnote has the same feature if i am not uh, wrong but overall great looking app i would probably recommend this over something like any type i think uh, as i said not uh, concluding just yet because i need to take another look at the app and just spend more than two days trying to figure it out but it looks really cool so if you haven't done so already i will leave a link to it down below try it out and i hope to see you again quite soon